What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some safety tips that I 100% recommend you do if you start welding. Do not listen to most people online, they do not know what they're talking about. So, people recommend wearing a mask while you're welding. Well, I say do not do that. And on top of that, do not weld indoors no matter what. Now, the reason for this is multi-pronged. If you read the back of the mask labels, they say they only protect against certain fumes, certain materials, and certain welding wire. Now, if all three of those aren't met, your mask is going to work. On top of that, the masks don't fit your face correctly. Everybody has a different shaped face, different shaped nose, different shaped mouth, different shaped chin. Now, what I discovered buying this, and I bought this just to demonstrate it, um, is that the masks don't cling to the face as much as you want it to. So there's complete and utter openings, if you're breathing, to just get fumes in your mouth and nose. That's extremely dangerous. And I'm going to tell you what happened to me while wearing these. This is before I knew this. Well, what happened to me was I got sick for months on end sicker and sicker and sicker i was like what is going on and my throat started burning my nose started burning and i happen to have a cold right now but i don't think it has anything to do with that and my chest started burning it feels like my insides are just burning constantly and that's because i was doing these youtube videos and welding with uh without doing the precautions i'm about to show you so these masks don't work they just don't they don't cling to your face Everybody has a different shape face and even on the label on the back, if you read it, it says if you have a beard, you're done. You cannot wear these. These are completely useless. And in certain cases, like my case, if your face is shaped differently, guess what? It's not going to cling to your face and you can actually fill the air holes on the, on the left and right of the mask. And I put it on just to demonstrate. So uh, before I get into what happened to me, uh, I was going in and out the hospital and on top of that, there's literally almost no research into, I forgot what it's called, when you get welding sickness. There's different names for it. Um, I call it welding lung or iron lung. It's kind of like getting coal lung, being in the coal mines for a long time. You start getting sicker and sicker and you can't breathe. You're, you're, you literally feel like you're, you're catching like emphysema or asthma or something like that. Your throat starts closing up and burning. You get physically sick, nauseous, dizzy, headaches, um, migraines. It, like you can't really you walk, you get tired a lot faster. Your sleep gets screwed up. All these things were happening to me. I just felt completely and utterly like I was just shutting down. My system was slowly but surely shutting down. And I, was, I went to the hospital like four times and the, the doctors didn't know what was going on. And they still, to this day, don't know what was going on with me. But I know what was going on with me. It was because I was using the welding mask the whole time. They don't work. And I discovered um, by filming at night, I don't know if I have it in this footage, if I can find it, but when you film at night, complete and complete and utter outside at night in darkness with a high powered light, you can see all the fumes around you. It is insane. And what happens is while you're breathing inside of the mask, the fumes are just going through the mask, like it, on the sides. You can actually see your breathing going in and out. Smoke around your mask goes in, and out in and out. I'm gonna try finding the footage to show you guys that masks don't work. Do not use these things. Do not weld indoors ever. Um, and of course, this affects different people in different ways. It totally destroyed me. Like, I felt like I was dying for months on end. So, my new technique is to actually do what you're seeing in this video, which is let me go back here, which is actually using a fan right next to your welding uh wherever your welding equipment is and wherever you're welding there has to be a fan in that direction hopefully it's windy outside too so that'll add to it and you use that to blow away the fumes but on top of that while you're welding hold your breath the entire time so if you're gonna be welding for three minutes you better hold your breath for three minutes and while you're holding your breath for three minutes after you're done welding and you have to catch your breath walk away about 25 feet and then breathe. You're gonna see me do it in this video. And um, this actually stops you from getting welding sickness. 
because this thing, this stuff can, but there's like literally no real documentation. They don't know the long-term effects of it. But I was getting sick over and over and over. And it was because of this. I would weld and then my throat would start burning and I would immediately get sick right afterwards. So these masks don't work. They're useless. The only thing that works is I, obviously the helmet, which uh, protects your eyes from going blind, of course, from uh, white blindness, uh, from sparks in your face. But the, I do not recommend to wear masks. Uh, do not weld indoors, weld outside. Find a way. Um, I, I'm outside a lot where it rains. Find a day where it doesn't rain or build some sort of cover over your welding equipment, a giant shack or something that's open on all four sides. Because this stuff will be, and it, it feels horrible. I'm telling you, it happened to me for months and months. I was like going through this for almost two years. And I was like, what is going on? Eventually, I figured it out. It was literally from welding. This stuff is mean. You can't see the smoke in the video during the day, but at night, it is unbelievable. The fumes, you can actually see it everywhere with, with your high power light. It, it just it covers the entire backyard. Or at least, not, maybe not the entire backyard, but the uh, about 15 feet all around you. Which is why I recommend walking as far as possible away from your uh, welding equipment and your welding piece. Because the fumes still pour out even though you're uh, done welding. And of course the heat from the steel, if you're using steel or aluminum. The fumes that are coming out of that are not good for your health. They're horrible. So... You guys got to get a huge, huge wake up call into welding. People online are not telling you the correct information. Same thing with obviously grinding. If you're grinding, you can wear masks, sure, but um, hold your breath. Do not breathe out your nose. Do not breathe out your mouth. Just hold your breath and walk away as far as possible. 20 feet, 25 feet, and then breathe. And go back and do it over and over and over again because you will regret breathing this stuff in it will not affect you the first time you do it the second time but over a course of a month maybe two months maybe three months you're gonna be like why am i getting sick you're gonna get it's gonna feel like you have the flu literally the flu the flu so you're, you're gonna be sneezing coughing a deep dry cough that lasts for weeks on end you're like what is going on your throat's gonna be closing up on you can barely swallow uh, you can barely eat, it's called barely breathe through your nose. Your, your nose is going to be just dripping uh, and it is completely and utterly horrible. So uh, this is an extreme precaution. If you guys are looking at this video, please do not waste your time on uh, welding indoors. It's not worth your health. I'm telling you, it will happen to you. You're going to end up with some sort of bronchitis, emphysema or asthma or something like that. Um, please take heed. Do not do what I did. Mine went away eventually after I stopped welding, of course. But this technique proves to be a proven technique um, because you're obviously not breathing. I I'm literally holding my breath the entire time while I'm welding. And when I stop uh, welding, I walk away 20 feet and start breathing again. That's the only sure way you're not. You can make sure you're not breathing this stuff in. Cause this stuff is mean. It gets inside your mask. I don't care how much you pay for your mask. I don't care if you're, it's it's a vacuum with electronics in it, and you have like uh, some sort of oxygen in it, and you're in a scuba. Where like I do not trust any of those. It will come to get, and when it does, you're gonna really regret it. So take heed. Do not do what I did, and do what I did in this video after I figured out. Oh yeah, you know what? I should just hold my breath and have a fan there on top of that just to like blow the air in the opposite direction. Preferably, if you want, you can uh, weld on a day that's windy, super windy, and hold your breath. No matter what, hold your breath the entire time and then take steps back 20 feet and then breathe. Um, so I hope you guys like my video. Take heed in what I'm saying. I guarantee it. Uh, it's going to happen to you and you're going to be getting, a, you're going to be like, why am I getting sick? Is this some sort of flu? No, it's not the flu. You're getting the weld sickness, the iron lung, the coal lung, and uh, this stuff is really mean, dude. It will get into your system. And if you, the longer you do it, obviously, the more uh, effects it's going to have on your lungs. Yeah, just learn from my mistake and do what I do in this video. This seems to be working. And ever since I started doing this, I've been welding ever since this video for about, what, 
three, four years, the the burning pretty much stopped. Um, today, I just happened to have a runny nose while I'm doing this video. That has nothing to do with it. But the nose burning out, like my throat, my nose will be burning. Um, and my whole body would be hurting. It'll be like a fl constant flu every single time. And the crazy thing is it'll go away. I'll stop welding for three days. It'll, it'll kind of go away and then I'll start welding. And then of course it'll pop right back up. That's straight up from the welding. These masks don't work. And I have another video I'm trying to find while I post this up. So I hope you guys like the videos. Um, if you like my videos, support me in the bomb. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, and if you like my videos, like, share, and subscribe.